For those who think all air conditioners are the same, here's a demonstration. This is a cheap air conditioner. Yeah, it's a standard air conditioner. Not bad. And here is Samsung. Only Samsung air conditioners have triple protector. Durable, reliable, efficient. So insist on Samsung with Triple Protector. Built for Africa. Samsung. Good evening. You are reminded that you are watching the Gami Radio and Television Services, and we would like to welcome you to this special program. It's a live phone in show, and today we're going to look at the reproductive health of women. We all know that the health of women should be everybody's business, and uh, we going to raise awareness basically on um, cervical cancer. Worldwide, cervical cancer is the third most common type of cancer in women. Moreover, cervical cancer often has no symptoms in its early stage. And I'm your presenter, Fatou Sanesise. And I'm here with um, Dr. Hassan Hazade, is the senior lecturer at the University of the Gambia and senior consultant in gynecology. He's here today to talk about cervical cancer. So, doctor, you're welcome. And Thank doctor you. is also here with Mariama Drame, a fifth-year medical student um, at the University of the Gambia. And uh, next to me is Malik Fai. He's also a fifth-year medical student. So you are all welcome. We are going to um, talk in um, three languages, English, Wolof, and Mandinka. But if you have any question uh, or comments in any language, you can call us later before the end of the program. And uh, just to start with, doctor, since we're going to talk about cervical cancer, um, can you just tell us what cervical cancer is all about? First of all, thank you very much, uh, Fatou, that uh, I have uh, the pleasure mm -hmm. to be back in your very educative uh, program, health program you're having. Talking about the awareness, awareness is actually what we are emphasizing. And, mm -hmm. and Raising awareness, yep. And I, had, uh, I was privileged to uh, meet Her Excellency, the Vice President, mm -hmm. only yesterday on in a, in a conference. So I told the Vice President what we are going to talk for the awareness, and she was very positive about it. And she said, actually, in her speech, that the awareness is a power. Mm -hmm. It's a power uh, to know about a good health. It's also, you can use this, this knowledge to see disease which eventually end up uh, for you if you, you are not really taken care of, that you lose your life. Okay. So cervical cancer, actually, this is kind of a deadly disease 
if it's not being diagnosed in mm -hmm. advance. Yes. And the good thing at this uh, whole uh, issue is that is uh, the abnormality of the neck of the womb, mm -hmm. which we call it cervix, mm -hmm. cervical cancer, is uh, uh, quite visible mm -hmm. and is preventable mm -hmm. and is also uh, treatable. Okay. And it's very easy actually to, uh, to uh, diagnose and to find out if any, any abnormalities has started by the cervix of a woman, as you just said, in their reproductive age. Health. Health. Okay. So uh, it was only 60 years ago mm -hmm. that someone called uh, Papa Nicolaus, mm -hmm. who actually developed a very simple, harmless, painless test, which we call it smear test. Uh, we do it in a clinic, a different clinic at the end of the program, I'll be showing you which clinic they can go and then to get a, this test done. done. Okay. Now, uh, if the, any of these kinds of cancer of the cervix is being diagnosed in early, there's always a treatment available. Okay. And the treatment is a surgery which we do. But the other point I wanted to make far too mm -hmm. is uh, only today mm -hmm. I, uh, I had in my own clinic about three very young women. Young and women. They were the age between 25 and 32, and all three of these young women, they came to the clinic for a checkup. Okay. And but unfortunately, mm -hmm. they all have been in a very very late stage of cervical cancer. Okay, doctor. Before going further, I would just like to remind our viewers: Badung on Balkon Tanajang, Gambi Radio and Television Services. Be nata jane puruka kurango dole kachaika for me cervical cancer. Imu kurango timi alonko akamusol batandi bakele. Andu musol la jata kende ya amuku le timi alonko anyanta kela mobile business lady. Olo muko mobile anyanta kela uoji be kuke ke makoi. Ola na be nata ta jani mun cervical cancer ati mboka yi nyungle nanu yu fi si sin program bi nga hamne is a special live phone in show lu nyo waktane te mwoy jangoro bo hamne din ko re oye cervical cancer gis na nyo jangoro bi nekka na jangoro bo hamne mu nge sonal jigen yu bari si gambe bi fi so lo lo tan ak te nyo nyo fi pour waktan jangoro bi ke poko hamne am nga si manam lu buga la che aferi jangoro bi di cancer Cancer bari na fason, wai bi mwom jige nila dege na sonal mwoy cervical cancer. Mwota te nyo nyo fi pur amagiyen program bi, ninyi muna ham, lalai cervical cancer. Wai dinen alaw telephone call zi si kanam. So bala bubu nak dinen alaw Dr. Azadeh, mwgen kwe explain faram fancha si English. So go on. Ok. So, we had three cases this morning, which they were quite advanced. Because I was coming to this program, mm -hmm. I called uh, Royal Victorian Teaching Hospital mm -hmm. and asked whether they have any kind of cervical cancer patients. Mm -hmm. They have confirmed that they only also had four more patients in very, very late stage today. of cervical cancer today. today. Just so today. we're talking about just today. We're talking about seven cases. Seven cases today. And all these seven cases, unfortunately, very, very young women. Mm -hmm women who have got the four or five children, mm -hmm. women who are not even age of 30 to 33 years of age. Mm -hmm. So they, they are actually in such a stage that uh, nowhere, not only in the Gambia, okay. nowhere in the world, they can help them really. They can cure them actually. You can cure You it. might do some kind of surgery or some radiation eventually to prolong the life of them, mm -hmm. but definitely they will not l live longer than probably within the six and eight months okay. we will say. So um, since we don't have much time, I would like you to tell us um, some of the causes. But the, the cause of, of cervical cancer is, is kind of virus. Mm -hmm. This virus, they call them human papillomavirus. Okay. This virus is available in the genital organs. And uh, is the healthier is the person, the less this, this virus can, can harm. Okay. The unhealthier the person, the unhealthier the tissues, then this can easily penetrate into the tissues which they are near the cervix. So the okay. cervix is at the end of the, of the vagina. Okay. Those women who are suffering for frequent sexually transmitted disease, for example, they make all those tissues, surrounding tissues of the cervix, very vulnerable. Mm. But the main cause of, of, of the cervical cancer is a virus. Okay. So uh, what we do actually, we recommend every woman mm -hmm. should, should go and, and as soon as they get married, as soon as they have sexual contact, 